And we're back here on CUTV for live coverage of the second half of Coventry United versus Tipton. And uh, I should say it hasn't gone to where planned so far. Coventry United 1-0 down after an absolute howler from debutant James Brayen in the Coventry United goal. And there is going to be a substitution for Coventry United. I believe I'm writing saying Tommy Maguire is being taken off and being replaced by Ryan Quinn. There's no sign of Lewis Rankin or Lewis Hudson or anyone like that at the minute. It appears it's going to be Maguire coming off. His re-debut for Coventry United is over after 45 minutes. And coming on for just his second appearance for Coventry United is Ryan Quinn, formerly of Alvechurch and Leamington. And, uh, we thought that uh, it was bad enough with Tipton being a division lower than United, but it turns out they're actually two divisions below. United at step five of the non-league pyramid, Tipton at step seven. So it's even worse than before, but the good news is Terry Anderson is here now. He's come back from his, um, from his christening. He's got his green jacket on and he's ready to go. And he still hasn't changed out of his suit. He's still got his suit on, his shiny black boots, his, his suit trousers. He's, he doesn't look ready to see where... To the son of the Coventry United dugout, but he's got his green jacket on and he's ready to go. But the question is, are Coventry United ready to go? That second half ended with Tipton dominating. Poor crosses from Coventry United curtailing the majority of their attacking moves and the heavens have opened at the Butts Park Arena. It's started to rain, not that heavily, but it's raining consistently, which may make conditions difficult on a pretty churned up pitch. It's only been a month of the new season, but remember, four teams play on this surface. Coventry United, the Coventry United Ladies, the Coventry Bears and Coventry Rugby Club. And plus, the Rugby Club train on this surface three times a week. So it's not in the best of conditions and now the heavens have opened once again. Well, we're still waiting for the referees. The players of Tipton and Coventry United are out there getting wet. And Ryan Quinn marching up and down the touchdown just trying to keep warm. As the Ren Green Army make their way back into the main sand of the Butts Park Arena. A little wetter than they left. All 283 of them, I believe it was. The second half about to kick off on CUTV as we are still awaiting the arrival of the officials. Here they come. So the referee and his linesman getting ready to kick this second half underway or rather damp and drizzly Butts Park Arena. The score currently 1-0 to Tipton Town after a shocking mistake from James Brain attempted a pass to a teammate in his own six yard box and basically handing the ball to Ebenezer uh, Marango and the change for Coventry United is now being made Ryan Quinn's been waiting on that touchline for a good couple of minutes while the linesmen have been getting into place and the change is now made Tommy Maguire off and Ryan Quinn on Quinn taking his place on the left hand side of a 4-4-2 for Coventry United so that team once again for United is Brayen in goal, Woodward at left back, centre backs Rob Prinzo and Carl Barnett. Left back is Ben Valance, centre mids Giff Musa and Chris Cox. Out wide for United on the right is Josh O'Grady, on the left now Ryan Quinn. Up front, Apoku and Reed complete the red and green starting lineup. And for Tipton Town, we've got the team of Josh Morgan, Robert Hill, John Patrick, Jamie Moore, Paul Henley, Lewis Collins, Matt Payne, Lewis Worsley, number nine. Marango, uh, 10 Tarek Thomas and 11 Terence Davis. So that's the starting lineup for Tipton, who haven't made any changes at the break. One of the needs, they've had a brilliant start. But it's a long range over by Chris Cox and four by the goalkeeper. And these wet conditions already causing some issues. As the ball spun in the gloves of the goalkeeper, just able to keep it under control as the heavens have well and truly opened at the Butts Park Arena. I believe I'm writing saying that it will be a replay if it's a draw. I know that some teams can decide to go straight to penalties if they so wish after a draw, but I believe 
it's going to be a replay. There hasn't been talk of uh, going straight to penalties. It's just going to be a standard replay if it is a draw. But right now, United won't get that far. They're 1-0 down against a team two divisions below. Getting ready for a throw in now, level with the penalty area. It's not just the wind that's causing problems now for Coventry United. So it's not just the rain that's causing problems, it's the wind as well. The wind picking up made conditions even more treacherous. You have to prefer to play that grounded game, neat passing and good crossing. So far they've had neither. Musa wins the ball in the air. But towards the right-hand side for Joshua Grady, crossing on Tuesday. Have they worked on the crossing during half time? It wasn't exactly great in the first half. O'Grady waits for the right option towards the far post where Quinn's there. Craig Reed brings it down. Quinn tries to get onto the end of it and cleared by Hill. And Musa picks it on the edge of the air for Coventry United. Morango does well to win it back. Thomas tries to find Morango once again. Intercepted by Rob Prinzel. Poor control from Quinn. And that's Hill to get back on the ball for Tipton. And a attempt to clear is charged down by Giff Musa. He can't get to the ball first though. Side challenge made and a throw in given to Tipton. Uh, so it was so Aaron Apoku, sizable uh, size difference between Gift and Aaron Apoku. So I don't know why I got those two mixed up. It's a side challenge on Lewis Worsley, puts it out for a throw just inside. Tipton's half, but the throw comes to nothing. It's won back by Prinzel and cleared by Woodward. Head forward once again though by Paul Henley. But drifts out of play for a Coventry United throw on this near side. United now kicking from left to right in their red and green kits. Tipton from right to left in their mainly black kicks. The black shorts with the white and black striped shirts and red socks. Throw out line by Woodward. Apoku is being held there. Referee says no foul. Down line to Woodward. Hastily put down the right hand side under pressure from Morongo and that pressure has worked wonders for Tipton as the ball was wayward it goes over the line for a goal kick let's get you the latest score now from the dripping pan stadium as Coventry United ladies take on Lewis in the FA Women's Premier League and it's still 1-0 to Lewis so the ladies still losing to a second minute goal. And a ball down the right hand side for Coventry United just out of play for a throwing right in the corner. <laughs> Titan taking their time in taking this. They want to make sure that they are ready to go as you have to try and win the ball back. In a pretty dangerous area line met in the air by Chris Cox a bogey tries to get onto the loose ball he won't and it's a goal kick before that John Patrick doing well to put a poku off and make sure that he couldn't get to the loose ball before it went over the line and it remains at 1-0 do you hope the United fans have brought a brolly with them because the rain for the second game in the row the Buzz Park Arena is hammering down he had a very wet start of the game against Roaster on Tuesday night. Throwing taken by United towards Apoku. Now it's with Craig Reed. Quinn's in the box. But it's laid off to Josh O'Grady. Now with Quinn. Valance comes in. Ben Valance has cleared well by Paul Henley. Prinzel brings it back for United. Onto the left with Ben Valance. Can he whip in the cross? Valance near post. Craig Reed. Payne as well to get there first and find Tarek Thomas. Tipton looks to break forward. Challenge made by Rob Prinzel, who seems to have taken a knock to his ankle. United play on. Quinn dispossessed by Hill. But Quinn gets it back from Thomas, who also goes down injured. Both teams down to 10 men apiece for the time being. O'Grady shields the ball on that left-hand side. Woodward. Cox. Can you get it in from the right? Cox was a far post with Apoku and the equaliser for Coventry United. Aaron Apoku, not home. And at the five second half minutes, the status quo is restored. The ball whipped in from the right hand side. Reed and Apoku both going for it.
That's uh, Aaron Apoku with the goal. Oh, it's Chris Cox. It seemed to me as if Apoku had uh, taken a touch on the ball. It looked to me that Apoku had got his head a bit. It looks like it's gone all the way in from Chris Cox. Well, we're back on the way now. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, Chris Cox whipped in from the right-hand side. It looked to me, well, both Reed and Apoku were both going for it. It looked to me as if Apoku got a header on the ball. And a free kick given to Coventry United on the edge of their own penalty area. Well, that is Chris Cox's goal. I do apologise, Coxie. <laughs> United on the attack once again. Cox. O'Grady. On the right. Into the air with Craig Reed. Brings it down. Apoku's there as is Cox. Chris Cox. Reed. Woodward in space on the right hand side. He's onside. Jeff Woodward across from Apoku. Valence blocks. Apoku handball claims. Referee doesn't want to know. Prinzel, lovely pirouette to take away from Thomas. It's Rob Prinzel and the goalkeeper able to grab the ball to the near post. Now, this is more like it from Coventry United. One one at the Butts Park Arena. It looks to me as if Apoku got a head on the ball as it flew in. But Chris Cox has been accredited with the goal. We'll have to have a look at that on the replay. United now level. United have got a throw in level with their own penalty area here at the Butts Park Arena to be taken by Ben Valance. And into the last two minutes at the Dripping Pan Stadium. It's 1-0 to Lewis against Coventry United ladies. So the ladies might be heading for their first league defeat of the season as Giff moves for a trip from behind. He tries to make his way into Tipton territory. So we believe that Chris Cox got the goal. But it may have taken a touch of Aaron Apoku. It could be a second now for O'Grady who curls it just wide. Cut into the penalty area, trouble from the edge of the box, and it just skewed wide. It was a good hit by O'Grady. But once again, that first goal for Coventry United at the five second half minutes. It was Chris Cox who whipped it in from the right hand side, just inside the box. Both Reed and the Poku jumping for it. it. Looked to me as if a Poku glanced ahead on it, but the goal has been given to Chris Cox. We'll have to have a look at the replay, but Cox is being awarded the goal as it stands. They looked to me as if a Poku got something on it. Goal kick. Over the head of Payne. Cox stabs it forward. Looking for Apoku. Apoku does get something on it. It's forced towards the left-hand side. And Reed will pick it up. Apoku makes himself available in the penalty area. Craig Reed Squares it for Gib Musa. Outside the area. Musa. Out wide again with Reed. Reed Caught at the near post. By Morgan. A great start to this second half of coverage. United the wise words of Terry Anderson. May well have done United the world of good in this second half. He arrived just in time for the half-time team talk after a prior commitment this morning. Throwing to United inside their own half. Latest score from the Liberty Stadium in the Premier League. Swansea 0, Newcastle 0 is the current score from there after 10 minutes. You have to make some progress down the left with Ryan Quinn, the substitute, on for Tommy Maguire earlier on. Cox, can he get the ball in from the left-hand side? He's trying to cut in, still going Chris Cox. Reed's in there, Craig Reed, shot a goal, and he's put it wide! A golden chance for Craig Reed, but he can't convert. Great work from Chris Cox, that makes his way into the box from that left wing. Put it on a plate for Craig Reed. You've got to bet your house on him scoring. Maybe the conditions worked against him. But he remains at 1-1. Ten second half minutes gone. 35 minutes of the 90 to go. Score at the Butts Park Arena. Coventry United 1. Tipton Town 1. Coventry United, of course, play their trade in the Midland League Premier Division. Tipton two divisions below in the West Midlands Regional Division 1. They're at step 7. United at step 5 of the non-league pyramid. It has been given as a free kick just inside Tipton's heart to be taken by their left back. Oh 
Patrick ready to blast this one clear. There it goes. Towards the penalty area. Worsley tries to put it onto the left-hand side. Kept in just about by Terence Davis. But it'll go out of play for a corner now. Under pressure from Jeff Woodward. And promising beginning to the second period of the Butts Park Arena. You're not getting that equaliser. The swing to the area in pain and the safe hands by James Brennan. So it looks like his hands are safer than his feet at the moment. And the counter attack is curtailed by Robert Hill who slides in and takes the ball away from Ryan Quinn. Hill wants to throw into Tipton. He's not going to get it. He, it's going to be a Coventry United throw on the far side of the pitch. Say five yards into enemy lines. Apoku. Now with Ryan Quinn. A great one at far post. Quinn's going alone. Quinn. And a low shot into the hands of Josh Morgan. Wouldn't better off to try and find Craig Reed or Josh O'Grady in that penalty area. Morgan fires clear. Barnett gets on the ball, only as far as Terence Davis and a free kick given against Coventry United. In a pretty dangerous position. Not too far away from the penalty area. Opportunity to get the ball into the box. going to be Lewis Worsley to chip this in. Plenty of options at the far post. Worsley cleared by Rob Prinzel. And now Gray looks to sprint away. Held up by Tarek Thomas. Chris Cox down line looking for Aaron Apoku. Reads in space in the area if he can find him. Apoku. It's into Craig Reed And great reflexes by the goalkeeper Josh Morgan to keep that ball out. Both men cuzzy on the ball. Reed got there first, but Morgan stretched out to make sure it didn't go in. But still, danger for United. Into a Poku. A Grady! He nearly burst the net! Coventry United turn it around! And Joshua Grady fires home from the edge of the box. Joshua Grady. Well, Joshua Gray is no stranger to scoring for Coventry. He scored over 30 goals a couple of years back for the Red and Greens. He's found goals tougher to come by the last couple of years. But that is a goal he can be proud of. He knew as soon as he struck that ball, it was heading straight for the goal. Nothing more could do about that. And in the space of less than 15 minutes after the break, Coventry United have completely turned this game on its head. It's Coventry United 2, Tipton Town 1. And the rain has now stopped the Butts Park Arena. Oh, I think the United players will want it to come back. And this rain seems to have done United the world of good. United on the attack again with a poker. He's being held by John Patrick. Free kick given to Coventry United on the right-hand side of the penalty area. And it is going to be a great to swing this in. In fact, Craig Reed's going over. And he's saying, I want this one. In fact, no, he's just giving a great instruction. So I think we know where this free kick's going now. He's going to try and aim it towards Craig Reed. Head up rather than out. And there's head away this time by Worsley. Barnett. A lovely bit of skill by Jeff Woodward to take it into the area again. It's Woodward and a far post head wide by Ryan Quinn. Well, Woodward was inches away from another spectacular goal. He's been nominated for goal of the month for, uh, for August. Kicked away by Morgan. Thomas. Blocked by Gift Musa. Handball claims. Waved away by the referee. Apoku. Good challenge made by Thomas to get the ball back. Payne, Worsley. Now Thomas again being held by Cox. Board on the left hand side. Cut up by Woodward only as far as Worsley, but Musa brings it back. 
Blasted clear by Prinzel. And all the way back. And nearly caught Morgan out. Craig Reed puts it towards the goal. Didn't have a lot of pace or direction to it, but Morgan wasn't sure for a little while there. And we have now got the final score from the Dripping Pan Stadium. And I hate to say this, but Coventry United ladies have lost by one goal to nil against Lewis. Second minute goal for the home side, giving Lewis the three points in the FA Women's Premier League. We will be back with the ladies next Sunday as they travel to league leaders Crystal Palace. Woodward puts the free kick towards the far post where Cox is waiting. Cox leaps for it, can't get to it and goes out of play for a goal kick. into the goal just under 20 minutes gone in the second half so just over 25 minutes to go be aware by the goalkeeper but brought back to the red and greens with Gif Musa looking for Craig Reed hailed away easily by Henley and now to play for the frame for Coventry United on this near side and Grady to Woodward Woodward cuts in try to find Quinn but it will find O'Grady Apoku couldn't reach it Craig Reed towards Woodward, blocked well by Duffield, his first meaningful ever to the match. And nice chest control with a photographer on that far side, sign him up. Very taken, one, two, between Quinn and Valence. Valence's cross dips just wide at the far post. <coughs> <coughs> and there is going to be a change for Comte United. Lewis Rankin is the man coming on. And who is coming off? And Craig Reed is coming on. Craig Reed is being replaced by Coventry United. Lewis Rankin comes on. So that's the end of Reed's day. Rankin has proved to be an invaluable asset to the Coventry United side this season. You're going to try to rest as many first team players as they can with a trip to AFC Wolfrunians on Tuesday night to look forward to. They want to fall with a team two divisions below here at the Butts Park Arena. They should have been able to beat them easily, but it's been far from easy. And it, the game is not won yet. And Chris Cox with a poor pass trying to find Josh O'Grady who stretched for it but couldn't keep it in. So on this near side, around 10 yards away from the halfway line. It will be a tips and throw as we are just 25 minutes away from the final whistle. Payne jumps for it. Terence Davis. Quinn gets onto it first for Coventry United. Now onto the left-hand side with Ben Valance. Closed down by Thomas. But puts it down the left wing. Looking for Aaron Apoko. I don't think it's going to reach him. Well, it does. Apoko gets in there before Moore. And it looks to cut in. Tried to find Quinn. The pass wasn't great. There is put out a play for a Coventry United throw by Rob Hill. Taken quickly by Valence. Apoku is back to the box. Force of the byline. It's with Ben Valence now. Quinn's in support. Valence finds Rankin in the area. Tries to turn his man. Lewis Rankin fires it over. That would have been a great start to his match. Pretty much the first time that he's touched the ball and he nearly made it 3-1. Of course, Lewis Rankin, formerly of Coventry City. One of uh, a couple of former Sky Blues in this team, including Brian Quinn, Kyle Barnett. And Aaron Apoka, of course, formerly of the Neaton Town, who now play their trade in the National League North. Barnett, Cox, good challenge made by the 
forward Morango. And a free kick given against Chris Cox for pulling back on Morango, who scored the first goal of the match. Inadvertently, thanks to James Brain of Coventry United. But if United are able to cling on to this win and secure a spot in the next round. And I'm sure that uh, that mistake won't be really too many more times. Free get taken by John Patrick towards that far post. Brain comes for it. He doesn't get anywhere near it. And it's coming an opportunity for an equaliser struck towards goal. Blocked by his own player by Worsley. And Brain able to make the pay. And I, you know, trying to get this one away now. Morango trying another one. And it's hit the side netting. Several attempts for Tipton. As Brian came out, tried to get onto the ball. I think he may have got a little bit of a punch on the ball. Didn't clear it enough. And Coventry United once again very nearly played into danger. Well, they were played into danger. Very nearly conceding another goal. Thanks to their goalkeeper. Several Tipton players, including Morongo and Worsley, having attempts at goal. Worsley's, in fact, was blocked by Paul Henley, his own captain as Brain was scrambling back to his goal. That's United on the attack. We were trying to find Rankin. If Rankin hadn't have reacted like that, he may have been able to get back onto that ball. It's a good chance made by Musa. O'Grady. Into the air for Chris Cox. And a crucial challenge made by Jamie Moore. Morango. Can't control the ball. He goes through his legs to Gift Musa, who plays it back. To Brian in the goal, chips it towards that right hand side for Jeff Woodward. Nods it along to O'Grady. Woodward wants the overlap. O'Grady pushed down from behind by John Patrick. Free kick Coventry United just in front of Terry Anderson's dog out. And the referee wants it in exactly the same position as the free kick was given. Barnett attempted to take the free kick. He's therefore better of it. Allows his teammates to get into a better position. Barnett fires it forward, looking for a Poku. Good chest control. Quinn into the effort. Lewis Rankin on that right hand side. Poku far post, can't find him. Good block by Paul Henley. Long ball to Morango, looking for Davis. You know, he's able to win it back, and Cox flicks it forward. Only as far as Henley gets it away, but it's met in the air by Barnett. Cox that's a push in the back of Lewis Worsley. And Chris Cox is already going to be. Serving suspension from Tuesday night thanks to a silly red card given last Tuesday against Roaster. It's going to be the last time we're going to see Coxie for a couple of weeks. Jamie Coleman serving the first of his free match ban today. Side challenge made by Vance Can't take the ball away from Tarek Thomas who's in that corner on the right hand side of the box. Lays it up to Robert Hill. Can they get the cross away? Good pressure from Ryan Quinn to block the run of Hill and a goal kick to Coventry United. 20 minutes of normal time remaining. We'll be naming our CUTV Man of the Match in just 10 minutes' time. So let us know on Twitter at Cov United TV who you think it should be. That's at Cov United TV on Twitter, or you can just put your views below the video on YouTube in the comments section. Brian sets up the goal kick. There it goes. Towards the head of Chris Cox. Cox a bit of a push in the back by Payne, but referee doesn't want to know. United have got the ball, however. O'Grady. Woodward. Rankin. Tries to cut in Lewis Rankin. A poker on the edge of the box. Back to Rankin. Tries to find a poker again, but it's cut out. But only as far as Cox. Tries one on his own, and it's a safe catch by Josh Morgan. Morgan to Duffield. Down the left for Morongo. That's a nice ball away. What a a nice ball. It was blocked by the leg of Jeff Woodward. He was trying to find Terence Davis down the left hand side, and he would have found him if it wasn't for the fullback. Free kick's going to be taken. So, Fryne's going to be taken by John Patrick. Davis has that one go out for a throw in right in the corner. Thanks for a chance from Jeff Woodburn. A substitution for Tipton Town as Ross Harris 
is going to replace Tarek Thomas. So Tarek Thomas coming off and Ross Harris coming on. So that's Ross Harris coming on and Thomas to depart the pitch. Tips and throwing everything they can to try and salvage your result. I believe it will go to a replay at a later date if it is a draw. Uh, Quinn making sure that uh, that ball isn't going to cause any hassle. Long ball into the penalty area. A clash of players between Tipton. Uh, attempt at goal and <laughs> there's a tame strike by Paul Henley. But Brian was out of position. He had to scramble towards his left to make sure that ball didn't cross the line. A shot that shouldn't have caused United any problems, but very much did. And it nearly resulted in an equaliser. Throwing down the halfway line for the Red and Greens. As United cleared their lines at a rather sodden Butts Park Arena, thanks to a little rain shower. Up line, not done by a poku. Only as far as pain. Blasted forward, and Rob Prince will bring that back into United control. Back to Brayen. Not the best of kicks once again, but this time Prince will pick up the pieces. Brayen does not look comfortable with these goal kicks. Hill. Harris. Pain could change by Rankin. Slid forward by Jamie Moore, but that's gone out of play over the line for a Coventry United throw in level with their own penalty area. <coughs> Balance to take the throw of Coventry United. Options up the line include Ryan Quinn and Lewis Rankin. Towards Rankin, held up by Hill. United should try and bring this one back with Cox. South forward by Quinn. And as far as Hill again, Musa fires it forward. Apoku making the run. I don't think it's going to be Henley to play back to the goalkeeper, Morgan. And back to Henley as Apoku was putting the goalkeeper under pressure. But now United just going to try and settle into a rhythm and make sure they see this one through. Chris Cox falls back into his own defence. And that's with Jeff Woodward. O'Grady. Woodward making the overlap, O'Grady, now Jeff Woodward, plenty of options in the area, Woodward goes it alone and rolls it into the side net to get this, this near post, Apoku, Rankin, Quinn, all in there, waiting to receive the ball and stroke it home, they didn't get the chance. Cleared by Morgan, leaping a bit of Chris Cox is incredible, he's brought the ball back but Cox has gone down injured, holding his ankle, United will play on with Lewis Rankin. Woodward, and enough, oh well, United's coaching staff want the ball to be put out, but United are keeping on going. It's Rankin who tries when he goes out of play, or Luke Morton, the uh, coverage United assistant manager, telling the ref that he wants the um, play stopped. His own players ignored the instruction and kept on going. Well, they sniffed a third goal, they didn't want to lose the opportunity, but uh, their skipper is in some pain on the halfway line, and that will be a short delay here at the Butts Park Arena. Score currently stands at Coventry United 2, Tipton Town 1. United went into the break 1-0 down thanks to a terrible error from James Brayen in the United goal. But uh, the first goal, well I thought it looked like Aaron Apoku got a header on the ball. It was swung in from the right, just inside the box by Chris Cox, curled towards the top corner. Reed and Apoku jumped for it. It looked to me as if Apoku got something on it. But uh, the goal has, in fact, been given to Chris Cox. And the second goal, no doubt about that one. First, Joshua Gray on the edge of the box. Bang, straight into the net. Nearly burst it. And there was no doubt about who scored that one. Coventry United leading by two goals to one. They made hard work of it against a side two divisions below. And Chris Cox is receiving some treatment. Well, one way or another, he's not going to be in the next match anyway. So if Cox is injured, it's not a massive... Blow if it's short term, if it's longer term, well, that's when you start to worry because Cox is going to be missing the next three matches, so we won't be seeing him for another two weeks anyway. And you probably hear the 
unmistakable voice of Alan Howe in front of us, helping to G up the troops. <laughs> he's got a choice, he's supposed to be stewarding. <laughs> well, steward slash cheerleader, but he's forgot his pom poms today. <laughs> and I can tell you what, uh, the Liberty Stadium in the Premier League, Swansea still drawing 0 0 with Newcastle. I hope it doesn't end that well because I've got Tammy Abraham in my fantasy football team. I could do with some points there, Tammy. Hint, hint. And Chris Cox is making his way off the pitch. There's no sign of a substitute just yet. So whether he's going to be able to continue, I'm not too certain. They do have Aaron Wint on the bench. He would be a direct replacement in the centre of the park. But it looks like Cox is going to be okay to continue. But he's not going to be on the field for a few seconds at least. Morgan's goal kick, won back by a Poku. Quinn back to a Poku. Payne hits it back into the defensive line for Tipton. Worsley jumps for it, beaten in the air by Chris Cox, who's back on the pitch. Tried to play in Lewis Rankin, but Rankin is straight offside and he knew it. Yeah, he didn't bother to try and get onto that ball. But oh boy, oh boy. From on the ground to in the air. It's now time to name our CUTV man of the match. And his final match before a free game ban. We've got to give it to apparently the scorer of all the goals. We'll still have to check the replay. There's a termination in the centre of midfield's creativity and the heart of our line. It's got to be Chris Cox. As the free kick swung in, Vance misses it, but Brian doesn't. Grabs onto that loose ball. So if you missed it, Coventry United's captain Chris Cox is our CUTV man of the match. Throw by Brain towards the right-hand side for Jeff Woodward. O'Grady wants it in the centre. Here is O'Grady. Rankin making the run. Through to Lewis Rankin. Good control. Tries to curl it round to a Poku. Couldn't get it past the defender. And it's blasted upfield by Worsley. Well, Harris chased it, but it's put out of play by Kyle Barnett for a throw in just about level with the penalty area. Going to be taken by Lewis Worsley. Everyone inside the United's half now except for the goalkeeper, Josh Morgan. John Patrick shines that ball up. He's probably still a little bit wet. Wants to make sure that he gets his throw just right. There it goes, into the box towards the near post. Chested down by Duffield. Couldn't do anything with it. It's cleared by United. Rankin, headed up but can't control. It's out of play for a Tipton throw. Both Rankin and Moore both sticking their feet up to try and get the ball. And Rankin did get the final touch. Volleyed into the box by Robbie Duffield, but no one there. And that will go all the way towards that left-hand corner for Coventry United. And fired down the wing by Ben Valance, looking for a poku. Hill tries to head to a teammate, and he does find Terence Davis, despite the best efforts of Ryan Quinn. Davis sprints on that right-hand side. It's unstoppable. Davis, can he get the cross in? He can, but stopped well by Rob Prinzel before he can find Morongo or Harris. Valance switches the play to the right-hand side. I don't think expecting that one. plenty of space for Jeff Woodward to use now. Down the right-hand side for Josh O'Grady. He's got space to run into, but he's got Worsley right behind him. O'Grady going all the way. It's O'Grady. Still going O'Grady. Oh, would you believe it? There's no stopping Josh O'Grady. Well, his first goal was all about putting your laces for it. That was all about skill, precision, dedication. Coventry United seal a place in the next round. Thanks to a wonderful solo run shot by Josh O'Grady. Well, I did say to Luke Moore before the game, make sure lads don't score any scream as well. Josh has done that and now my voice is crying out for mercy. And there is going to be a substitution for Coventry United in a minute as Aaron Wint is preparing on the touchdown. I'd assume it's going to be for Cox after that uh, earlier injury. And now Tipton with about, what, seven minutes to go? I'd, of course, never, never write anything off in football. But I'd probably say that that is the game in the hands of Coventry United now. Rankin and the pressure from Worsley couldn't control. Now it's back with Tipton in their back line. 
Blasted forward down the left-hand side, looking for Morongo. Met in the air by Jeff Woodward of Coventry United. Apoku. Nice little turn. He's got Quinn to his right. Apoku. Still going. And a slide by Duffield. Got nowhere near the ball. Took out the legs of Aaron Apoku. And if anyway, I'm surprised that's not a yellow card. But the referee is just going to give the free kick. Doesn't want to be dishing out bookings at this late stage. We've only seen one yellow in this entire match. And there is going to be a change. And that's the number 11 on the substitutes board. Well, that's, that's rather mean from Coventry United. You've got to let O'Grady get his hat trick. But it looks as if they're not going to let him get his hat trick. I might have one more chance because Wint's not coming on just yet. It'll be the next savage of play. And it was very nearly a fourth goal. Was, the free kick was fumbled by Morgan. Long range effort from Rankin. Should have been a simple catch for Morgan. It wasn't. And it fell to Ryan Quinn. I believe Morgan, well, Morgan must have got a touch on the ball to keep it out. But from close range, Quinn couldn't put the ball in the net for a fourth time. Rankin, chest control at the near post by the Tipton defender, but it's fallen to Chris Cox. Down line with Jeff Woodward. Tried to find Rankin, who was in a great position, but well cut out by Worsley. Harris tries to let that ball run, and he runs as far as Jeff Woodward. Cox has tried to slide in and win the ball back from Morango, but it's out of play off Quinn. For a tipped and throw and that is the end of Josh O'Grady's match and it's a little bit of a shame O'Grady hasn't got the chance to go and get his hat trick but Aaron Wint does come on and there is another substitution a final change for Tipton as Robert Hill is replaced for Tipton Daniel Patrick I believe is he is he related to John Patrick I'm not sure but as Joshua Grady makes his way off the field, a change for Tipton. Robert Hill coming off and Daniel Patrick coming on.